Well, you know, many of you know that they always try to stop us to go to Art Sox, so that's nothing new. Unfortunately, the State Department policy is to not recognize Art Sox and uh, suggest that Americans not travel to Art Sox. And of course, that makes no sense at all, particularly since we know that Art Sox is a functioning democracy, and you know it's probably more American and Western than almost every other country, as is Armenia. Um, but in any case, we continue to get that from the State Department. It's one of the things that we have, we have to constantly push back against. But I just, I, I just wanted to say just a few things. First of all, thank you all for being here. Uh, you know, it's a, a new session of Congress. Uh, already, so many of you have gotten members of Congress, including the new members of which we have so many, uh, to join our Armenia Caucus, which is so important, because our Armenia Caucus, I think, is the bulwark of the effort in Congress, along with the Armenian organizations that are represented here today in trying to make the case uh, for the various uh, issues that we care about with reference to Armenia, as well as Artsakh. And I know that today is in particular the commemoration of the, of the genocide, which, will, you know, the official commemoration is on April 24th. And when I met with some of the Armenian Americans in my office today that came to visit, you know, they, they, we all said, Obviously, recognition of the genocide is so important for Armenia and for Armenian Americans, but it's also important just for the world and humanity, because we know so often that um, genocides continue uh, and oftentimes they're forgotten, and the purpose of the perpetrators is to make sure that nobody knows and nobody remembers. And so when we, when we speak out and say that we want to memorialize the Armenian Genocide once again, I say once again because it has been done by the Congress in the past, um, we're, all, we're not only worrying and trying to make the case uh, for Armenia and the recognition of the genocide, but, but for genocide recognition in general. So please, you, you carry a heavy burden, but the burden is not only a burden for Armenian Americans and for Armenians, but for humanity in general, and that's why it's so important. And that's why we do have to pass the genocide uh, resolution, uh, and we're going to continue to work for that. But I also wanted to mention a few other things, uh, at least mention the travel ban uh, and, and the communications ban. That's very important, because we want to see a peaceful settlement with regard to Artsakh. Artsakh needs to be either an independent nation that's recognized by everyone, or part of Armenia, depending upon what people decide. Um, and that will only be achieved if we have a level of recognition. And cutting off communications and travel doesn't make any sense in that context. It's not the type of thing that Americans and those who share uh, American values would want. So we're going to continue to pursue that as well. But the other thing I wanted to mention, because it's so important right now, is the Velvet Revolution. What we do in our caucus, and I see many of our, my colleagues here that are going to speak tonight, we're trying very hard to make our colleagues, and as much as possible, American foreign policy, recognize what happened here in this Velvet Revolution and how important it is. You know, this is a country, as you know, that was a former Soviet Republic. So many of those of, of the former Soviet Republics have fallen back into dictatorship. Some of them had, were moving towards democracy and then moved back. Also countries that were part of the, uh, in Eastern Europe that were under the Soviet uh, Soviet authorities. And the opposite is happening in Armenia. Here, as other countries have become more totalitarian and moved away from democratic and market economies, here is Armenia moving in the opposite direction, towards more democracy, more transparency, more of a market economy. So we need to celebrate this, and we need to talk about it, again, because it helps us in terms of improving American support for Armenian relations between the two countries. But again, almost like the genocide, we want to show that there's, that there's an Armenia that's, you know, that is a lesson, if you will, for the rest of the world, right? We would like the other countries that were part of the Soviet bloc, uh, or part of the Soviet Union, to be democracy. And so why not herald it? Why not remind people? that this is happening, and we're going to do that. You're going to see more and more, I think, over the next few months with regard to our efforts. <laughs> I, I've said enough, but I, I just want you to know that, um, you know, being Armenian is a very special thing. It always has been, uh, but it's particularly important now that we recognize the genocide, talk about the democracy that's happening uh, in Armenia, and, and try to move towards a situation where Artsakh 
is either reunited, but certainly uh, with Armenia, but certainly remains Armenia. These are, these are some of our priorities, so thank you again, Denise.